Hello everyone, in this video, let us take a look at uh, time tracking in uh, Jira on cloud. So we have been looking at uh, Jira cloud instance and so far we have uh, spent some time uh, looking at how to work on a project. And in this video, let us uh, continue further and take a look at how we can do time tracking. So basically when you work on Jira, you also have the option to specify the amount of time a specific activity should take and when the person who is supposed to work on that particular issue or activity or task, that person, that person could be a developer or uh, basically the person who is supposed to work on the issue. Usually we have this assigning field. So whenever you assign this, this issue to someone, uh, the person can actually start uh, logging their time. Now, to use this feature in uh, your project, if you're, if you're using Jira, Jira Core project, right now we are working on this Jira Core project and uh, we have, uh, of course, seen how it works when it, when it comes to creating new issues and uh, working on this uh, board. But if we create a new issue, let us do it very quickly. So to create a new issue, you need to click on the plus sign on the left hand side or you can press the C key on your uh, keyboard and it will bring up this uh, create issue screen on your uh, browser. So of course you need to specify your project name and uh, maybe the issue type. Right now we don't really have any other issue type but uh, you can uh, then specify the task summary. So let us say I add some summary like this is a summary. I'll probably increase the font a bit. I think this is, this is better. And you can of course fill up the fields if you want. So we have the attachment field where you can attach files. You have the due date field. So basically if you want to let your assignee know that uh, please finish this activity by 15th of August, then uh, you can fill up this field. Then you can add description like this is my description and uh, then you can assign the ticket to maybe yourself. So I'll assign the ticket to myself but uh, the thing that I wanted to show you is uh, this field called uh, original estimate. Now when you are working on the planning of your issues, when you are planning the work, you can specify that this particular activity should take uh, three days. So let us say if you are trying to design a new template for proposals. So it is an activity and you want this activity to be to be done by 15th of August. And you also want to mention here that this activity as per you should take idly three days or maybe you discuss it directly with the assignee. But the whole purpose of this particular field is to, of course, uh, measure, the, measure the time that will actually take so when 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 the person starts the starts the work on this uh, particular activity that person that person can um, start logging the effort like uh, two days or maybe three hours and so on and you can have multiple log entries so let us see how it works so the first thing that you need to do is you need to fill up this particular uh, <clears throat> field called original estimate and if you don't really find this field on your project you can ask your Jira administrator and of course uh, in this video series we'll also be looking at the Jira admin, Jira, Jira admin activities or uh, basically we'll learn how to customize Jira and adding this field on your project also on the screen is something that your admin can do. So let us create maybe one more uh, issue and then we'll uh, look at also how to log time and also we'll take a look at the reports. So let me add one more uh, task. So I also want to design design a new template for contracts and you can uh, then specify the original estimate as maybe one day and one day is usually eight hours because this is something by default configured in your Jira instance, but it can be changed. <clears throat> so if you work for seven hours or five hours or maybe nine hours, you can change it. So if you enter something like one day, it will be eight hours. 
and uh, let us create maybe couple of more issues so i'll just enter something like task 2 i'll add original estimate as maybe 4 days and just one more issue this is one more task so now we basically have some issues to work on original est estimate as maybe 4 hours so you can use here m so m 4m is 4 minutes or you can use a d I mean, don't, don't use 4M, um, uh, th that is really illogical. I'm not sure if you, if, you, if you can even use 4M, I think you can. Let us see. So if you enter 4M here, it will be minutes. W is uh, week. And uh, yes, I think this works. So the time, the time tr tracking is uh, 4 minutes, but let us change it to 4 hours. So we have a few issues to work on. And now what I want to do is I want to basically start logging my work. So if I click on this particular issue, let us say design a new template. Now, if I am the report, uh, I'm the assigning or the reporter, I can log my work. So I can do log work. So on top, you can see these three uh, dots. Uh, basically, this is your actions menu for your issue. If you click on it, select log work, and then you can specify that uh, you have worked on this issue for two hours and maybe you can uh, of course when you when you do it right now you can see that uh, this log entry is uh, logged on 12th of august but you can change it to maybe 11th um you just you're just uh, entering the log for maybe yesterday or maybe yesterday was sunday i'll probably select uh, maybe friday last week then you can add a comment like uh, I worked on this. So you can save it. Then you can maybe add one more log entry. And you can say that you have worked on it for maybe seven hours. And uh, maybe you just did, did this work today. And, I, and you can see here that as you're logging your work, you can see the progress on top, which is always good. So you can uh, then uh, uh, do the same for other issues if you want and if you want to see all the work log entries you can select this option here uh, and you can select uh, work log and it will tell you all the all the logs all the work logs for this particular issue logged by in fact any user so it, i mean based on the permission i think uh, right now there is no pun permission configured but if you have multiple users and the issue is reassigned to them they can also log their work or maybe even if the even even if the issue is not assigned to them they can also log their work by coming to this issue but it depends on the permission so let us log some work for other issues very quickly so you can log work so maybe i worked on this for maybe i just did all the work so you can see here that as you enter the time spent the time remaining field will be updated so there are basically three fields here one is original estimate then you have time spent and you have time remaining and you do have some reports that will help you in understanding whether you did more work than you should have and which is okay but you just need to uh track it and uh, measure it in your reports so that you can plan more effectively so let us log maybe four days and maybe four hours because you overdid or you basically uh, you needed you needed more time uh, so you can basically add this additional time of four hours and there has to be a gap like 4d gap and 4h so if you log your work you can uh, then go back and uh, maybe i'll just add this workload entry for one of my issue again so that we can see some reports so let us say i add one h maybe last week i'll save it i'll add one more entry for uh, maybe again uh, from last week okay so i need to first enter my time i'll select the date started on maybe 7th of august and uh, maybe one more entry and uh, i will probably say here that i also worked on this for maybe one additional hour today that is fine so you you can see here that uh, we have been doing this time tracking and of course uh, you have this information here uh, talking about displaying the work that you have been doing like total time you spent 
and you can also take a look at the work log. And by the way, this interface is a bit different from Jira Server. <clears throat> and uh, remember, I, I talked about uh, this difference of Jira Cloud and uh, Jira Server. And while I'm making this video, if you're doing this evaluation of uh, Jira Server and Cloud, uh, I think this will probably be helpful because I will mention how things are different. So the way you do time tracking is same on, is basically same on Jira Server, but the UI is a bit different. Uh, and uh, the, the concept is same. So we have been doing uh, time tracking. We have been logging time, we have been uh, estimating the work, and uh, we have also done some extra overtime. So if you want to, to, to basically look at the reports, you can take a look at the reports here. But uh, the report that I wanted to show you is called uh, time tracking report. So if you click on this time tracking report, you can basically look at the time that you have been uh, spending on your issues. So just select the, so by the way, let me just talk about this configuration option. So if you have been using some fixed versions, you can select the fixed version. So you can basically have this report only for a specific fixed version. And right now we are not really talking about Jira software project, we are talking about Jira core project. So this is not really relevant. It can be used in some situations, basically when you, whenever you're trying to release something, it could be a milestone, you can use fixed version. So fixed version is basically um, nothing but a way to categorize your issues based on some dates. Then you have uh, sorting like most completed issues first. And then you can filter based on I believe, uh, uh, incomplete issues only or maybe all, all the issues and then you can uh, also include subtask if you have been using subtask, we have not really talked about subtask, we will be talking about it, maybe in the coming videos. So let us take a look at the report. And this report is uh, really useful because when you look at this report, time tracking report, it will show you, of course, all the issues in your project. And based on the estimation that you have been doing, like, uh, let us say if you have uh, done estimation for half of the issues, you will see this progress bar, like for example, right now, you have a uh, total estimate across all the issues where you have done some estimation as uh, one week, four days and one hour, but you have done uh, quite a lot of work. Like you have spent one week, two days and two hours. So basically your progress is actually quite good. And you can also see this accuracy. So this accuracy is uh, basically based on uh, the deviation. But if you look at this, this list here, you can see the original estimate and you can see here that uh, you have the uh, remaining estimate and you have the time spent. So if your original estimate is same as uh, time spent, then your accuracy is on track. And if you have spent more more time than you plan, you will see this um, negative value. Uh, this is really useful because when you are planning the work, this accuracy, this uh, difference will tell you whether you have uh, deviated a bit or not. So you can see here that there is a sigma here and this sigma is basically a summation. And if you have been using a subtask in your in your issues, so let us say if there is, a, there is an activity called maybe design a new template for proposal. Right now the original estimate is three days, but if you have, let us say, further subtask for this particular, particular activity, th then those subtask effort will also be included in this particular sigma. And of course you can, I believe, uh, change this if you go back to the configuration uh, and you can just uh, say that uh, uh, only including subtask with the selected version, also including subtask without a version set, including all subtasks. So I, I think the sigma, sigma will always be displayed, but uh, uh, you can just uh, make sure that if you're using, if you're using the, those uh, subtask estimates, then they will be reflected here. So let us see how it works. Let us, uh, let us click on this particular issue in a separate window. I'll create maybe one or two subtasks and I'll show you how it works for those uh, subtasks. So uh, what you can do here is you can, uh, I'm just trying to understand how I can create a subtask because I don't really work a lot on cloud and that is, th that is basically the main reason I'm working on these uh, video series. So basically to create a new subtask, you need to click on this uh, icon here called create subtask and it will let you create a new issue very quickly like this is my subtask one you can click on the create you can again create maybe one more this is my 
another subtask and uh, if you click on it you will be further taken to this uh, separate screen or uh, this additional uh, i mean this this view is basically uh, for uh, uh, your uh, subtask it looks same as your main issue your parent issue so you can log the work maybe so maybe you can log here maybe two days and uh, if you go back maybe to the issue that you uh, that you just uh, created here like the other one you can also log additional work so this so i want to log maybe four hours and uh, i'll go back to my parent so if you want to create more subtasks you can also click on this uh, plus sign here and uh, so there is a plus sign here that can uh, help you in uh, creating more uh, additional subtask and uh, let us take a look at the report and by the way if i look at the parent let us see so by by the way you can see here that the parent i believe is is i believe already showing the um, estimates from the subtask if i'm not wrong so it says uh, original estimate uh, three days and you have logged uh, uh, one day and seven hours so i'm just trying to understand uh, if i can find the estimate from the subtask this is something uh, that you can easily do on the cloud because on the cloud you have the option to basically use a check so let me first uh, log some more time so it was one day seven hours i will probably add maybe one more hour i want to basically log my effort if i go back to my parent so yeah so this is not really showing you the effort from the child but uh, i i'm sure there is a setting that i'm missing i'll probably figure out uh, maybe i'll update you in a separate video but let us take a look at the report and uh, right now the report uh, uh, might show you some additional additional uh, effort so yes you can see here that uh, yes it is showing us the effort because for the subtask we didn't really added any we didn't really add any original estimate because the field was not there it was able to it was able to create those subtask without showing the screen but uh, there is a way to do it uh, we will we'll, we'll probably configure the project uh, later but for the timing uh, i wanted to show you this report where you can see this uh, this information about the subtask and you can see here that for some of those subtask where we log the work you can see here that not only the work log is displayed but also for the parent the submission is also showing you the effort from the subtask so for my parent it was one day and one hour but uh, uh, it is also including the effort from my subtask number one and subtask number two and it is now showing you the total figure so this is basically i wanted to show you here in this uh, video how you can do time tracking on jira core on cloud and one more thing that i want to talk about is the option to export this in excel so if you click on this excel view it will uh, let you basically display this uh, same table this time tracking report in your uh, excel file and that is always useful because maybe you want to do some um, reporting maybe you want to further create some uh, pivots so that that can also that can always be done and uh, this is always good to have this excel view so i hope this uh, video was uh, useful and of course we'll continue working on the cloud we'll take a look at uh, other aspects and in the next video we will uh, probably look at how you can search for the information how you can uh, also uh, define your own search query using jql so we'll start looking at uh, some uh, topics around searching and uh, after searching we'll also take a look at uh, how to create your own dashboard so i hope you enjoyed watching this uh, video thank you very much